Greetings everyone! Continuing our series of crafting videos for Harvest, today we'll be looking at this wand and how to craft it. I should warn you that the crafting of this wand is very RNG heavy and can be quite frustrating. With that in mind, I'll show you the least painful way of crafting an item like this, as well as some general tips for this specific craft. Anyway, let's begin! As usual, the first step with every craft is identifying the mods I want for my item. This time, I knew I wanted plus 2 dominion gems, increased minion damage plus chance to deal double damage, which is an incursion mod, increased minion attack speed and cast speed, and I also wanted to be able to craft socketed spell trigger on cast. With those things in mind, I bought a magic convoking wand base with increased minion damage plus double damage. This base cost me about 3.5 exalts. The reason I chose a magic base is so I could imprint it and not lose my base if the next part of the craft failed. I also made sure to get a max roll on my increased minion damage before imprinting. After imprinting, the next thing I wanted to do was lock the increased minion damage in place so I could use fossils to get the plus 2 to minion gems. In order to achieve that, we will need to use a harvest craft which allows us to fracture a random prefix on an item provided that the item has 3 prefixes. To get those three prefixes, I used a regal orb to make my item rare, plus a random augment seedcraft to get a second prefix. I personally used augment physical, since it can only roll prefixes. However, any random augments will do. After getting my second prefix, I benchcrafted the lowest tier of plus two mana for my bench, resulting in a grand total of three prefixes. Do keep in mind that you might need to do this part multiple times so try and save as much currency as possible on augments and crafts. With the three prefixes acquired, I used the aforementioned Fracture Prefix Craft to try and lock the increased minion damage in place. The craft can cost anywhere between 40 and 1.5 exalts and has a 1 in 3 chance of success, so you should be able to get it fairly easily. If the craft fails, and some undesirable prefix is fractured, Simply restore your item to its magic state by using your imprint orb and repeating the steps mentioned above. Now that the minion double damage is fractured, we want to try and roll the plus one to all spell gems. This is the next big RNG point of the craft, and it can be a bit frustrating to roll since plus one to all spell gems is a very rare prefix. The best way of going about rolling this mod is through the use of fossils. Normally, I would recommend using 4 socket resonators with Corroded, Jagged, Metallic and Shattering. However, Prime Chaotic resonators are currently going for about 100 Chaos, so they are really cost inefficient. Instead, I recommend using Etheric plus Corroded and Sanctified, or Etheric plus Corroded, to achieve similar results. If fossils aren't your thing, you can also Chaos spam until you get plus 1 to spell gems. However, Keep in mind that, as I said, the mod is really rare, so it might take a while to roll. Once the mod has successfully been rolled, the next thing you want to do is make sure that the item has at least one open prefix and one open suffix. That means that the only mods on your item should be the plus one to spell gems and the minion double damage prefixes, plus a maximum of two suffixes. If either of those conditions aren't met, you want to try and remove the excess prefixes or suffixes first by using harvest crafts when possible, and then by using annulment orbs. Keep in mind that if you do use annulment orbs, there is always a chance of removing the plus one to spell gems, so you want to make sure that the annuls are used only as a last resort. After all this, your item should look something like this. If you've come this far, then congratulations! You've made it past the hardest part of this craft, which is getting the fracture, the plus two spell gems, and the open prefix and suffix. The rest is cake, comparatively. The final steps of this craft are relatively simple. First, you want to use your bends to craft cannot roll caster modifiers on your item. This will ensure that when you use the augment caster seed craft on this item, you can only roll two mods, fire damage over time multiplier, and the plus one to minion gems, with the latter having about 14% chance to roll. You might be wondering why this works that way. The reason has to do with the meta tags that mods have on an item. If you take a look at Craft of Exile, you will see that some mods have a certain meta tag next to their fossil and harvest tags. These tags are there to show that this mod can be affected by specific benchcrafts. More specifically, 
mods with the attack meta tag are affected by the cannot roll attack modifiers and are unable to roll when that craft is present. The same applies to caster modifiers and the cannot roll caster modifiers craft. With this knowledge, the next step is to look at our desired mods. We can see that plus one to minion gems does not have the caster meta tag next to it, which means that it is still in our available pool of mods that the item can roll. We also see that it has a caster harvest tag, meaning that it can be rolled by using the augment caster seedcraft. Effectively, this means that though the plus one to minion gems is considered a caster mod for the purposes of seed crafting, it is not considered a caster mod for the purposes of the cannot roll caster modifiers metacraft. The only other mod sharing this peculiarity for this craft is the fire damage over time multiplier mod. In summary, when you use augment caster with a cannot roll caster modifiers on this type of base, the only two mods you can get are fire damage over time multi and plus one to minion gems. Since fire damage over time multi is also a fire mod for the purposes of seed crafting, that leaves us with a pretty easy way of getting plus one to minion gems. Use augment caster on an item with an open prefix and the cannot roll caster modifier suffix on it. And if you get fire multi, use remove fire and augment caster again. Repeat until you get the plus one to minion gems. Do note that using remove plus add caster does not work here because it can remove the plus one to spell gems. After the plus two to minion gems is achieved, the craft is pretty much done. You can craft prefixes cannot be changed, plus scour to remove the unnecessary suffixes and then multi-mod, or use the roll suffix key prefixes seed craft to try and get minion attack and cast speed. The choice is yours. Personally, I am happy with the way my item is looking for now, and after spending about 13 exalts to craft it, I am going to call this one finished. Anyway, that's pretty much it for most of the big crafts my character is using this league. I did make this little item here since my last video, but since Gazi already made a video about this, I'm not sure if doing one myself would be necessary. However, what do you think? Do you want to see a crafting video for this shield? Are there any other crafts you would like to see done in this channel? Leave a comment below and let me know. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. The links are in the description. Have a good day.